This lesson deals with an alternative form of the Fourier series. You can find these notes in the ECE 202 ebook in chapter 13, starting on page 8. In our previous chapters, we found it convenient to express sinusoids not as a sum of a sine and a cosine, but as a single cosine function with a magnitude and angle. Let's do the same for the Fourier series. The term under the summation, let me call f sub n of t, and that was equal to a sub n times the cosine of 2 pi n f naught t, plus b sub n times the sine of 2 pi n f naught t. Suppose I let lowercase a sub n equal uppercase a sub n times the cosine of some theta sub n, and let b sub n equal uppercase a sub n times the sine of theta sub n. Then substituting that back in for a sub n and b sub n, I get that the f of n of t is equal to a sub n times the cosine of 2 pi n f naught t times the cosine of theta sub n. And then for this term, I get a sub n times the sine of 2 pi n f naught t times the sine of theta sub n. Now I have a product of a cosine and a cosine and a sine and a sine. And we can use some of our trig identities, one of which is the cosine of alpha minus beta, which is the cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, plus sine of alpha, sine of beta. Here alpha is 2 pi n f naught t, and beta is equal to theta sub n. Or f sub n of t is equal to a sub n, term that's common, and then this product of cosine, cosine, and sine, sine would then be the cosine of the difference of 2 pi n f naught t minus theta sub n. We next need to solve for uppercase a sub n and theta sub n in terms of lowercase a sub n and b sub n. Let's take our definition for lowercase a sub n and b sub n, and let's square both of those. So I get a sub n squared is uppercase a sub n squared cosine squared of theta sub n, and then b sub n squared is uppercase a sub n squared times the sine squared of theta sub n. If you add these two together, you get cosine squared plus sine squared of the same argument, and that's equal to 1. Lowercase a sub n squared plus lowercase b sub n squared is equal to uppercase a sub n squared. We're going to solve for a sub n. That's going to be the square root of lowercase a sub n squared plus lowercase b sub n squared. Take the ratio of these two, we could solve for theta sub n. Take b sub n divided by a sub n, that's going to be our uppercase a sub n times the sine of theta, and then uppercase a sub n times the cosine of theta. The a sub n's cancel, and I wind up with a ratio of sine to cosine, which is the tangent of theta sub n. Theta sub n then would be the arc tangent of lowercase b sub n over lowercase a sub n. On the previous page, we had f sub n of t in terms of a negative angle. So let's define it as a positive angle and just take the negative of that. That was our theta sub n, and we'll call that phi sub n. And that would be the negative of the arc tangent of lowercase b sub n over a sub n. f of t now is some a naught plus a1 times the cosine of 2 pi f naught t plus phi 1 plus a2 times the cosine of 2 pi 2 f naught t plus phi 2, and so on. So our Fourier series now is in terms of cosines with a magnitude and angle. A few final definitions. The distribution of amplitudes and phase angles of our alternative form of the Fourier series is called the spectrum of a periodic waveform. If we plot a sub n versus n f naught or n omega naught, that's called the amplitude spectrum while a plot of phi sub n versus the same x-axis is called the phase spectrum. Both plots we'll call line spectra. And this is the alternative form of the Fourier series.